Ago. to another episode of the Heritage On Air series. Now the Heritage On Air series is brought to you by Miss Cookie Spices. No peeling, no blending, just scoop and cook. My name is David Kwekusechi. Now when we come back after this break, I'll introduce you to the conversation that we're about to have and my guest as well. Ago. Welcome back. Now, you know that um, as you grow up as a child, you hear all kinds of things about, you know, different people of different places within the Ghanaian space. And they say, oh, the Fantis are like this, and the Ashantis are like this, and the Gans are like that, and the Evers are like this. Well, you know what? My, our historian, uh, historian Kweku Dako Ankara, is going to take us through the whole conversation on ethnic stereotyping. Kweku, you're welcome. Thank you. All right. So um, take us back and give us a breakdown on why it is that we find all these sort of um, notions about different ethnic groups that we have. Yeah. So most of these notions, some are historical, some are cultural, mm. some are people's observation on certain people from certain ethnic groups mm. they have encountered and they tend to use that specific encounters as an idea of how the entire group <laughs> will be like. Okay. And some of these things over the years mm. has ate into people's psyche. And so when somebody from that specific ethnic group mm. begins to exhibit even the least of what is already planted in his head, <laughs> he begins to say, okay, they said so. Yeah. And this person has re-echoed it. Mm. So the reinforcement of what is already existing mm. in the person's psyche mm. then affirms okay. what he has already heard. Okay. And that becomes the affirmation of these stereotypes. Okay. And so they believe it to be so. Mm. But the question is, is that so? Mm. The, because we're talking about ethnic group. Yes. You cannot even count the, the ethnic people group that are in that there. Made up the ethnic yeah. group. Yeah. That people tend to superficially claim that is what it is. Mm. And they even force their way to make it to look like that is the reality. Yeah. But that is your perception of what you saw. Mm. Why some also continuously show that kind of stereotypes or behavior mm. and it has come to stay with them because some are positive attributes. Okay. So for instance, let's take cool people. Yeah. You say Kou people are chisel in our Ghanaian language. Mm. It means someone who is miser. Yeah, miser. Somebody who does mm. not easily part out with things. Mm. And why is it that Kou people are known to be so? Is it, is it their nature? Mm. It is historical and environmental. Mm, okay. So the Kou people, historically, and where they found themselves, is the mountainous scrap. Mm. That's the Kou mountains. Yeah. So in the olden days, when they get certain amenities, certain things like water, certain things like things produced from outside their community, mm. they need to go down there and take this load of goods, let's say a keg of alcohol, okay. cloth, mm. sardines, mm. all those things. Yeah. They have to carry it all the way up, all the way up okay. there. So when he carry all these things up there, mm. it means it's not something he's supposed to misuse by heart. Okay. Because if he misuse it, yeah. he will suffer again. Yeah. To go to all, climb, all the to way go down. down there, descend down, yeah. and then climb up again. Okay. So the very little thing he have, mm. he has to take care of it. Okay. Take critical good care of it mm. because if he loses it, mm. He will suffer okay. to go back and forth. Okay. And that is not a luxury at all yeah. for someone living in that environment. Yeah. And this thing was incorporated into their business ethics. Mm. 
So when they are engaged in business, they ensure that the little they have, they don't waste it. Okay. They keep it. Okay. So this leads to capital accumulation mm. by the Kogu people. Mm. So when the Kogu man says, oh, I have small, he has more than that. Okay. <laughs> because he doesn't know what will happen tomorrow. Yeah. So he's always ready mm. to guard what he has. Mm. So that's to meet the exigencies of tomorrow. Okay. So he will not misuse that. Uh, mm. And that has become part of their business transaction. Okay. And in so doing, they also know that you need to rely on your friend. Mm. So back in the day, when Kogu Abatafu or the Kogu traders yes. move from one place to trade, mm. they go as groups. So one person stands at one point, another one stands at, at one point. So you go to certain markets. They say you go to Abu Okay. Then you see all the Kogu people lined up. Okay. So that the ethics and the ideas of their business is shared among them. And also the idea of helping each other mm. so that you don't go back home as making losses. They share it and create that idea oh. just as they help themselves together wow. to carry things from the, from the down of the, of the mountain yeah. up to the peak of the mountain yeah. to have it. That help, you see it in Kogu people congregating in specific spaces. Yeah capturing that trade, yeah. and they alone are the go-to people okay. when it comes to that trade. Okay. So, Apostle that makes Okai, sense. back in the day, in Okaishi, yeah. you go, they are there. Okay. If you go to Kanechi, certain spaces, they are there. Mm. It is because of modern politics and then uh, invasion of other ethnic groups that have really dwindled down on the Kogu people, seeing them on one area. Back in the day, you can see them at one place. I see. Because of the environmental factors, mm. that was carefully choreographed into their business ethics mm. and ideals. Wow. Okay. So which other group can we look at? So another group we can look at is the Northerners. Okay. Who comes to South. Mm. Mostly people from the Asifalo Society or what we call non-centralized society. So the Fafres, the Gruni group. Okay. And all the people apart from the Moli Dagwani people mm. and the Gonjes who are centralized government. Mm. People who come from these Asifalo societies, they don't have kings back in the day. So they have headmen who take care of them. Okay. And then they have the head priest, which they call the Tendana, mm. who has a spiritual authority to distribute land and allocate it for family. Okay. So their social organization is mostly bonded by individual coming together as based on their blood ties or kinship system. Mm. However, when you look at centralized society where they are chiefs, yeah. it is bordered by the community structure. You have the Asafa system, you have the chiefs and everybody. Mm. So whenever there is a feud, issues of conflict, war, you are able to bring them together. Mm. But because these people do not have centralized structure, they always work on kinship type basis. So whenever they are going, they move in twos and mm. threes. To support each other okay so whenever there is an issue his brother can quickly come and help him to fight against the common enemy okay so for instance you have a fight with a fafra person another fafra man standing by will not even come and ask you what, what the happened. issue is he will help his brother to defeat him first and after we we'll ask, we'll ask questions what, what was the issue <laughs> when you explain them say oh, my brother you too because of the system <laughs> Wow. which was based on feud as well as conflicts, mm. which was born out of the kinship ties okay. that brings them together okay. because they come from that sedimentary mm. sort of structuralized or non-structuralized system. Mm. And so you wow. see them. And so, so when they are moving, they work in twos. Yeah. So that I can't see them as in Kofono. They work in doubles and twos. So you yeah. That those wow. people who work Wow. In doubles or twins. I see. Oh, amazing. So wow. you see it in that order. Yeah. Okay. So which other group can we look at? So we can look at also the Evers. Mm. People are often ready to say Evers are ethnocentric or political tribalists. Mm. Like when you employ one away here, before you see all of them they are here. All be, uh, yes. Wherever they go, yes. they speak their language. Yes. Unlike other people. Mm. The question is, is that so for all Evers? Mm. However, this thing that came is not a conscious, specially carefully constructed thing 
that are with LVS. Okay. In fact, when most of them are even educated, they like to even be on their own. Okay. And that is why you see them in spaces. There is no village or fishing community that you won't find ever established. It's very true. There. It's very true. When you go there, they if you have go to Fantiland, they are, they are all of over there. If you go to Kumasi, Ashanti, they, they are there. there. It's true. So they, they are a group yes. of, they are like nomads yes. in a way. Yes. They go everywhere okay. and they find their way to become part of that community. Okay. Even if they are living outside of the town. Okay. They try to be part of that So community. how do we come by this? So the notion? idea of them coming together is the colonial system they were trained under, under yeah. the Germans. So the Germans had the policy of using language mm. to unify the airways. Okay. So airways, they realized that airways were scattered. Some are in Nigeria, mm. the Badagre people, yes. the yes. Yes. they are Elvis. Yes. All the way to our kingdom in Nigeria, wow. they are Elvis. So wow. they are one group of West African people. Wow. They are in Nigeria, they are in Benin, yeah. the Fons, the yeah. Aja. Yeah. They, are all they are all the way speaking people. Okay. You come to Togo, they are there, they are there, all, the Mina, all of them, all the way. And then in Ghana, you have the Vidume, mm. you have the Anglo, Anglo. Anglo. Yeah. and then you have the people okay. all forming that cracks of people so how do you bring this group of people who have been scattered mm. by geographical uh, uh, demarcations mm. which through no fault of theirs mm. has been constructed by the Europeans mm. during the petition of Africa mm. so the Germans in the way to bring the airways together decided to use the Amoro language okay. as a weapon as a tool of ensuring the Elwe unity or the way speaking unity. Mm. So you look at the, 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 the Gold Coast all the way, mm. and one is was used in the Vedome areas, okay. in the Tong areas. Okay. So all of them were speaking language. So the idea of the Nyabro, one brothers, yeah. came into being. So wherever they are, what brings them together is the cultural unity mm. of the la one, language one language they speak. Among all of them. Wow. wow. So this is what brings them together. Hmm. And people who under, don't understand these historical constructions hmm. that are brought otherwise a group of people hmm. who are divided as Vidume, Aunro, Tong, Aja, Fon, and so on. Yeah. All of them, when they see they are speaking one language, hmm. which they understand, hmm. they see themselves as, as brothers. Yeah. What was different from the policy the British used because for they, the accounts they divided where they them. divided them yeah. that they will speak their each other's language yeah. so that they will not come together <laughs> that is why accounts also don't have the cultural unity okay because the fanti see himself as fanti yeah the kwapim see himself as a there's nothing like the one idea okay. of account okay wow but the Everest had that opportunity through german language policy mm. Fantastic. Well, you know what? Let's take a quick break. When we're back, we'll continue with this whole development of, um, you know, the ethnic um, segregation and the, the, the stereotyping of ethnic groups. And we'll see how we can debunk all of those things. Ago. I've been using Miss Cookie for a very long time. Here's the thing, I don't have time. I really don't have time. When I enter the kitchen to prepare a meal, the last thing I want to do is spend so much time trying to peel things. I want it ready-made. And Miss Cookie Spice gives me that with real organic spices. I think I like the ginger mix because of my childhood memories of peeling ginger. I also love the keliwili. We never made keliwili at home. It was one of those things we always bought. You know, like I was a cuckoo. So when I discovered the Miss Cookie Kelewili mix, I thought, oh, I can do Kelewili at home. So I started buying it. And I started buying it for all my friends and family abroad. And it tastes just like the roadside Kelewili, if not better. I can't pick a favorite because I also like the chicken mix. <laughs> it's very convenient to just put the chicken in a pan and put the mix in it, you know, instead of having to garlic, having to peel garlic. And I keep discovering new variants. But the, the main things I like to make, really, one is Kelly Willie with Miss Cookie Spice and Jollof Rice. 
and my chicken. Shall I go on? <laughs> I go. Welcome back it's still the heritage on a series and we are looking at ethnic groups and the stereotypes that we have come to meet you know and why we have you know come to discover all of this well let's go back we've talked so far about the um, the northerners we've looked at the um, and in northerners interestingly it's like almost like the whole group of the so many different tribes in the north have been yeah. bunched into one Yes, group. yes, because they are cephalous groups. Okay. And then they are centralized group. The okay. only centralized group there, mm. as I stated earlier, were the Mweli Dabani group. Okay. Which is the Mamprisi, yeah. the the Dagumba, okay. and then the how do you call the Nanumbes. Okay. They are the Mweli Dabani. Okay. So they have when you chips. add the Moshi mm. in the Burkina Faso yeah. to it, yeah. they are four groups. Okay. That form the Mweli Dabani okay. language cluster. Okay. Then you have the Gonja. Yeah which is also different. So these three mm. Mweli Dabani uh, kingdoms yes. and then the Gonja kingdom yeah. are the four major centralized group okay. in the north. The rest are all acephalous societies, okay. which is non-centralized. Okay, all right. So we've looked at the, the northern groups. We've looked at the Evers. Yeah. Um, we've also looked at... Um, uh, which other one did we look at? We look at Kou. The Kwewu people. Uh -huh. Okay, now the Kwewu people are Akans, but um, among the Akans, there are different Akan groups, and they also have their own stereotypes. Yeah. Okay, what, which other So one? that is what I talked about mm. earlier, about the fact that in terms of business. Mm. So now we go to the Asantis. Okay. So people, when they see Asantis, they say Asantis are boastful. Mm. They are braggadocious. Yeah. So when it comes to things, what they can do, yeah. they will promise they yeah. will do. Yeah. Now, this, <laughs> this mostly yeah. comes from a certain culture okay. or tradition, mm. the culture of Mpuacha. Okay. So the idea of Mpuacha is to show people that, I have this, mm. do you have it? Mm. So he wants to do something mm. to talk about it, yeah. to display his rich, mm. to show his magnanimity, mm. sh to show his importance. Yeah. So his ability in the funeral to dress a dress no one else can wear yeah. or to change three times to prove to you that he has wealth <laughs> is very important. <laughs> it's force of importance. Okay. If you say you have some, prove go it. and change yourself yeah. like I am doing. Yeah. And that <laughs> underpins the notions of working hard. Okay. So it doesn't matter if he has to do shoemaker. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he has to come and carry goods. Okay. It doesn't matter if he has to walk all the way on okay. the desert okay. up to Libya okay. until he can get the green pastures. Yeah, he will do it. All what is matters is that someone has told him that or shout at back mm. when to be as a son. Yeah. When he wear that dress, yeah. he couldn't change. Yeah. Historically, when they go to war, the booties of war, yeah. they come and display it mm. to the community. Yeah. So you see a Dugafor mm. going to war in the Volta, mm. returning mm. with all his goods. Yeah. There was display in Kumase. Yeah. When Bodwich went there, he saw it. The guy has returned with all the goods. Mm. He has even returned with the, 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 the missionaries, the yeah. white missionaries. Yeah. He grabbed them in whole. That is Ramsey and Kuhn. Oh, I he see. He brought them there, okay. showing them that I have conquered. Okay. When Atakura went to the north, mm. in the Gomesabia war, when he conquered the Gonjas and then the, the Dagombes, when he was returning, he returned with some of the Islamic cleric, just to show, I have brought the Hausa, wow. I brought the Kremu wow. into the community. Wow. This is something you do to show yourself wealth because of a ranking system. Mm. How do you become Osekeni? Okay. How do you become Odishie? Okay. How do you become a person of nobility? It is about your display of wealth. Mm. So if the person doesn't have some, he has a smurf as a tool to also prove that he has something. 
So when he's doing something with you, yeah. Me yeah. yeah. na yeah. 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 because he himself yeah. does not. He have. doesn't have. So he is telling okay. you only his lineage. Okay. That he is not a man of straw. Yeah. But he's a man of value. By virtue of If you of were to lineage. check his pedigree, okay. you will know he's come from chieftains. Okay. And wealth okay. is part of that chieftains. Okay. okay. So he's trying to tell you. Okay. It's not that he is trying yeah. to grab me. Yeah. But he's pointing yeah. to you where, where he comes from. So okay. the idea <laughs> of display of yeah. one's wealth, yeah. the idea of showing in poor chat to mm. show to another person that you have made it yeah. is part and parcel wow. of the Asante culture, wow. which developed as a result of warfare, as well as the social ranking system, yeah. social and political ranking system. Yeah. So yeah. to achieve this, you need to go war, yeah. or you want you need to become a bata a bata for. Mm. You need to become a farmer mm. and acquire a whole lot of properties, mm. and based on it, you use it to make your verbal announcement <laughs> of your <laughs> what the Ashanti themselves call your social deviality. Yeah. <laughs> 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 your station. So the deviality in Ashanti is something that is very important. Okay. If you okay. don't have some. Yeah. You can call it to your family. Yeah. And that is also a debility. That's so. That's so. Is it like that? Okay, so let's look at them. Um, uh, let's look at the fanties. Yes. So fanties, fanties, for example, mm. people often tell them they are lazy. Mm. In fact, when John Duncan came to the Gold Coast and met the fanties on the on the beach, mm. they were sleeping in the afternoon. And they said, This is a group of people who don't do any work and they were lying down. <laughs> and then in the evening when he saw, he saw they were pushing the canoes, the big, big canoes, he recorded again that when it comes to West Africa, the canoe men, mm. the fanties have the largest canoes or the biggest of the canoe, which they use for hard work to load goods from the European ship to the okay. shore. Okay. So the one on one breath, they were lazy people who were sleeping. Mm. On another breath, he didn't even see the contradiction in his own work. <laughs> there were people who have the biggest of what? The canoes. Yes. And they use it to offload goods. Yes. The Ashantis too, when they come, when they fight with the Fantis, the Fantis will run. They say they are coward. They are lazy because they are not able to fight like okay. the way they are fighting to kill. Okay. Because the Fanti man has been introduced to European way of doing things. Mm. He is into modern mercantile trading. Okay. He is into diplomacy. Okay. He is into negotiation. Okay. And he is a fisherman. Okay. As a result, he is not uh, fighting he, away it's from not part of his, his thinking. Has moved from his, yeah. his DNA. Yeah. He is into different terms. Yeah. But whenever they come to trade, by the time they reach the coast, afternoon the fantasies are sleeping. Okay. On the coast. So yeah. they say they are lazy people. No, but it's CS why time, is so it why so? Not? Why is it that the fanties sleep in the afternoon? Yeah. Today, as I'm talking to you around this time, yeah. go to Accra, the fanti fishermen, and they are sleeping. Yeah. Go to any fanti community, yeah. they are sleeping. Yeah. The truth is that when it comes to fishing, yeah. unlike farming, mm. the fishermen go late in the evening, mm. sometimes dawn, yeah. some go one o'clock, yeah. some go 12 o'clock. Mm. There are those who go what is called Ashakon. Okay. which is around seven o'clock okay. and they come the following day in the morning mm. so they spend the entire night awake awake yeah and fishing working fishing hard. on the high seas mm. pulling the net yeah do you know the, the strength if you see a fisherman's hand and the net they pull the canoe they push if you look at their back yeah very dark big big canoe Muscular. do you know how it is moved from the beach to the place mm. so by the time they do all this work, they are tired, mm. so they go and sleep. And when they go and sleep, this is the time the people from the hinterland have also arrived with their goose. And so when they see them sleeping, they say, look at the lazy fanties. They don't do any work. Wow. And that idea mm. has fueled that idea, uh, mentality. So because the fanties were also the first people with the gas mm. to enter into the modern day professions, like law and yeah. other things, yeah. they were not seen into the doing yeah. hard working like farming mm. and so on. So we say, oh, say, fanti for the omu lazy. I'll be doing something that is not hard. <laughs> and they forget yeah. that modern work to use mental like capabilities, yeah. Yeah. which is also hard work mm. and mm. so on. So they were using the historical professions like hard work in farm, yeah. having big cocoa farms yeah. and so on as a yardstick to measure Fanti's 
working capability. Okay. So it's almost as if the, the Fantis and the Gans took the lead in modernizing their cultures as far as what we know today as being more modern and advanced educated cultures. You as know, a result of the their colonial yeah. encounter yes. with the Europeans, yes. Yes. by just their geographical yes. position yes. on being on the coast yes. and meeting the Europeans, mm. Mm. this had effect on mm. their career changes and professions okay. Okay. and so on. Mm. So they became different mm. from their colleagues in the hinterland. Okay. And so therefore the colleagues in the hinterland mm. who were doing hard work and they see a fancy man who had come yeah. into uh, 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 most of the market point. Mm. He comes in his coat or some European dress. Yeah. He's not carrying load. He comes with a group of people. <laughs> he says, look at them. Yeah. Lazy folks. <laughs> you get the point. Yeah. But he has transcended that indigenous or primitive professions mm. and is moving towards the modern profession that, that, that rely mind. more on the mind on the mind than on the body rather yeah. than this that is not to say agriculture is primitive yeah. agriculture is still modern and mm. better mm. as it is mm. but the fantasies unfortunately but, on the coast and yeah. the gas were not having particular those on the coast mm. they were involved yeah. in the fishing okay so the fishing or the modern profession yeah. or businesses that has come as a result of yeah. colonial encounter yeah. became their business. I would like us to talk about the gas because um, to some extent we, we have some of these same stereotypes being used to describe the guns, but then they also have their own other stereotypes as well. Yes, so they say the gun people don't travel. Okay. They are like crabs hey, on, the, on hey, the beach. Hey, hey, hey. They just move out. When they see waves, point, point point they jump point boom, straight to the hole. Okay. They don't go anywhere. Okay. And they cannot sing any song without food mention in it. Yeah. So every gun food, every yeah. gun song, you, they must mention. You hear Abele. And so you on. You hear all the other different nice you see dishes. That? So dealing with the food, mm. it is the historic nature which we can still found in the modern day celebration of Homo War. Okay. When they found themselves mm. in farming mm. and what they went through, okay. the remembrance okay. of how that farming and its effect mm. on the Ghana people. Mm. So in remembrance of it, this is something that serves as historic markets in their memory. Okay. That if they don't engage in farming something to produce food, mm. they will not be able mm. To sustain the next bout of that farming mm. that occurred on their land. Mm. So you see the Ghana people moving from their communities. If you go to Achim, you have Aquadia's father finding Ajay Kodokrum. If you go to Bono, you have guns found in their land there. If you go to Kumase, there are guns who have lands there. Yeah. They most of the lands. Yeah. It shows you. Yeah. They move all the way to property, mm. trying to do farming everywhere mm. they find themselves mm. because of the historic farming okay. that occurred okay. to them. Interesting. They do not want to suffer it. So when they sing mm. and they mention food, it is in remembrance of the homo, of the, the of hunger, the, of the hunger yeah. that really occurred to them. Okay. It is also to tell the people that we should do our things right mm. so that we don't face it again. Okay. So one, it is remembrance. Two, it is also a client call mm. to do what is right. Mm. Thank you very much. This has been fantastic. I'm sure there are other groups that we can look at, but this will suffice for now. This is the Heritage on Air series, and of course, it's brought to you by Miss Cookie Spices. No peeling, no blending, just scoop and cook. Well, thank you very much to you, Kweku, once again. And my name is David Kweku Sechi. We will hear you hear from us next time on the Heritage on Air series. Ago.